So everyone wants their email to uh, have personalized functions and styles. And Outlook Web App does allow for that. So in this video, we're going to discuss how to change the reading pane, how to uh, create a personalized signature, and how to change your password. We'll also discuss how to change the, the theme, so the overall appearance will change. So let's start off with the reading pane, the functional things. And uh, by default, the reading pane is set so that whatever message is selected on the left side, the, the content of that message will show up on the right side. So I change messages, and you see the message shows up differently. So let's talk about how to change that. We go up to the right-hand side in the corner here, and we go to Settings, and we go to Display Settings. And this menu has a series of different things that you can change the, the settings on. And uh, we're going to click on the word reading pane. And again, by default, it shows the reading pane on the right. Another option would be to show the reading pane on the bottom so that the message, the content of the message will show up on the bottom. Then the last option, the one that we're going to choose right now, is to hide the reading pane. And when we check on this, I'm also going to uh, click the check off for apply to all folders so that my inbox, my sent items, deleted items, and any other folders that I set up, uh, they'll all have the reading pane hidden. So I check that off. I'm going to say OK. Now you'll notice that the uh, the reading pane is gone and you can't read the full content of each message. So to view the message, all you have to do is you go to the message and you just double click on it and it will show up in a new window. That's with the reading pane turned off so that each message has to show up in its own new window. And uh, when I want to make that message go away and hide, I'll just click on the X and it's done. Okay, so uh, the next thing we're going to discuss is changing the signatures so that you can have a personalized signature appear on your messages. So we're going to return to the settings button in the top right, only this time we're going to go to the options uh, selection. And here we have a series of options that we can change. We're going to go to the settings, and you'll see here this is where you can put in your um, your personalized signature. So I'm going to type in my name and ITRT, Information Technology Resource Teacher, and my building location. And of course, we can change the font, change the font size and color. we wanted to uh, you know you know change parts of those things individually so here's my signature and I'm going to uh, check off automatically include my signature on all messages that I send and I'll hit save now you can go back and change this at any time if you wanted to uh, but I'll return to my email inbox click on a new mail and there is my signature so I'll never have to uh, spend the time writing my name and uh, any other pertinent information that I want to include uh, that can always appear at the bottom of my messages to change the password we return to the settings button and on the uh, uh, second to last choice here is to change password now very simple, you know, there's not that much to say about this, but uh, it is important to know that if you change your password for your email, it is also going to change your network login password. So if you were to do this at home on Monday night, on Tuesday morning when you go to, go to your school and you go to log into your computer, you're going to need to use whatever password uh, you created the night before. And the same thing goes if you were in the school and you changed your network password, when you went to your email later, you would have to use your new password. So all you need to do is type in your current password and type in whatever you want your new password to be. 
type that twice and hit save. And lastly, we want to change the theme to uh, give our Outlook web apps some personalized flair. And to do that, we go back to the settings button and we go to change theme. And they do have a, you know, a myriad of uh, color options and some more whimsical things. And uh, you can uh, make any of these choices you want. You click OK, and now your your web app will have uh, this theme every time you log in.